I'm from Mexico and I'm studying in Paris and I'm now I'm in London, I'm really happy. Uh, normally I love to talk a lot, but in English it's complicated for me. I think you have a good luck today. <laughs> I, I prefer read my, my work. I, this presentation has uh, two parts. The first, time, the first part, I want to show you something about Mexican archaeology, the Teotihuacan tradition, what I mean, what is ubicate. Uh, and the second part, I want to show you some about uh, uh, mobility analysis. What I is some of my part of the doctorate research. Firstly, I would to like to express my gratitude to the organizing committee for allowing me to participate in this event. The work I present today is a part of my doctorate investigation called the spatial configuration of the Teuchtlan tra tradition. Teuchtlan is complicated for me, I'm Mexican, but it's complicated <laughs> too. Yeah, in this investigation, Mm, we have used a range of techniques to get better picture of archaeological landscape of the tradition. For example, movement, site cash, cashment analysis, visibility, and distance for strategic research. This section I will present to you today is part of the analysis of movement of tradition people. The archaeological landscape reflects in many ways the activity to given people, but also the ideas, the cultural material, the cultural action, the art, the religion, and how the society was organized. The analysis of landscape of the current environment allowed us to retrace the action of people and to get the glimpse to certain episodes in the history. The pathways of the present elements of the landscape shaped by a man on the navel give an indication of the economic and social organization to given tradition. This element of the landscape takes shape in relation of the use of space and the passion of the time. Their utilization to the involving fragmentation this fruit over time. This pathway have a morphological that very dependent of their importance in relation to the religion, economic and or the military, and they constitute an important source of information for archaeologists and they are kind of fur insight into the functional of source roots and a cali because they have the line becoming the goings to activity to give people. In this paper, where objective is understand by means the archaeological the analysis of pathway, the study of movement interaction in habitat in Tequila Valley, in the state of Jalisco, Mexico. The application of GIS relates method and analysis will permit new interpretation of the regional archaeology landscape and will clarify different points. What are the implications of the natural relief and the course of the river and the establishment of all lines the movement between the archaeological site with the area under study? If there are a relation between the importance of archaeology site their political or interaction, and how they analyze the informal paths within the distribution of the movement of the map. To respond to these questions, we have created a Lescott path network that we have in analysis by using GIS, and we have used to probably general these tools to model the cost surfer and friction surfer to digital current model. The analysis, the, the analysis of Let's Cost Path has become important in archaeology. The idea behind this analysis is that the movement from one point to other generate a cost. The objective of to choose a path of minimum cost where at least because its terms of energy or, or time is lowest. Teochitlán tradition is one of the earliest complex societies in the west of Mexico, late pre-classic period and the beginning of the middle classic period, it's, uh, 200 BCE to 400 CE. It's the social activity of the regional scale allowed to proliferation of densely inhabitant landscape along the Chequila Valley. The center of Teochitlán tradition is located to the cultural area of the west. It's the current state of Jalisco. 
this uh, area is really famous for the name tequila. This this area is for the really the drink tequila. The most important sites of the Arizona Tuchitlan were found in the lake area of the highlands of adjacent valley around the Tequila volcano, located in the center west of Jalisco. This, bay, this valley is are rich in excellent quality, well rich soils, and has well many basins to contain ecstasy swaps and lakes. The structure of the settlement partner of the tradition is based on how the biological as well as well as mineral resource and distributor. For this reason, there is a close link between the arrangement of the settlement and their function in relation for the source and resource provided by the landscape. There are a total of 62 register sites in our Tequila Valley. These are aircraft classified for four levels. The original assignment of levels was based on different elements, including the volume of circular structure, the quality of uh, ball games. I won't play it later what I mean, uh, uh, this, uh, the architecture, the ball game, and different elements important in the traditional Dutch plan, including the volume of circular structure and the amount of space covered by uh, say circles. The most important sites under the classification, uh, this classification is the archaeological site Huachimontones. Huachimontones site is considered the center of the Tuchitlan tradition. It's situated in the center west of Jalisco in the lake region of the highland and valley of Tequila and the stand of the surface around the 400 or 5 acres uh, with a monumental circle construction. Development of traditional uh, and tradition has been defined by one chronology, distressed from the formative, late and the last pre-classic period. Yeah, my, my work is uh, it's between uh, it's, um, in the Tequila 2 and Tequila 3 uh, process. Some, uh, I want to show you some characteristic elements from the tradition to Chitlan. A certain tradition to Chitlan is a series of cultural expression that encompass for many manifestations can be appreciated in elements like architecture, the funerary customs, and the ceramic style, etc. The buildings of the tradition are characterized by circular pyramids surrounded by elevated circular platform that also have a shelf and goes around it. In this way, three concentric circles set around a central point give shapes to every one of these buildings. Of the shelf, there are between 8 and 16 platforms that have temples up top and the lower part under some of these platforms, usually the modest, the modest platform. And sometimes we have the shelf stones. Shelf stones is well spent later. Yeah. <coughs> the shelf stones are characterized by vertical and nearly vertical shelf up 3 to 20 meters down into what is often underlining volcan top. The base of shafts open into one or two occasionally more horizontal chambers, uh, here perhaps 4 by 4 meters vary considerably with a low ceiling. The shaft stones were often associated with the overlying building. The artifacts found in the shaft stone are evidence of the funerary practice associated with the creation of the commercialization of this element. They are objects that tell us about the specialization and production and exchange of elements with this society, but they also give a wider overview of the dynamic of regeneration interaction. This photograph is the most important shaft in, in the for the 
traditional digital collision. The ceramic culture was composed by fine ceramic world exclusive for funerary rituals, obsidian artifacts, shell, and other materials coming from different parts from of Mesoamerica. I forgot to translate this. Okay, the GIS is a tool to help up to simulate the different elements to make up the landscape. The reconstruction of this reality has been carried out in consideration of the environment and archaeological data collected for work area of research. It's always necessary to be aware that the results of a spatial analysis is a simulation of the present reality with a focus on the past. Hence, we have to be conscious to this when we interpret the result. For the uh, mobility, mobility analysis, we adopt the Morieta methodology. Uh, we analyze the less cost path. Firstly, we started from the perception that this method of analysis could explain the creation of paths between archaeological sites. Partly from the principal that at the moment of moving, the habitant of the Chiquila Valley would place more importance of saving energy rather than saving time. In addition, this analysis will work for the reconsider for consideration for natural obstacles such are as a river and body of water. In this way, the path could bear in mind the variables of the natural reliefs and secondary, the existence of river or body of water that will have have to be crossed or avoided, where shooting algorithms will ascend to base <coughs> an estimation of this value. One of the most important elements to calculate movement in research area in the cost surf, uh, surfer cost, and there are different ways to estimate this factor. The friction surfers is the most important factor, and you can estimate by the calculating the energy spent by covering the certain distance and the time necessary to cover such a distance. Often derivate for the slope but always linking to the <coughs> energy and time. An isotropic friction stage of the realization of the less cost path, the creation of, of the digital terrain model from the curves and the area under a story. This is an, um, an um, this is uh, how I did uh, the, the process uh, for the mobility uh, analysis. Is um, I use uh, the digital terrain model for uh, for begin this analysis, and after I, I create the slope and uh, some uh, uh, friction, this is some <coughs> friction, and. Uh, uh, the, the end of the analysis is having an isotropic friction for uh, utilization um, in uh, in Teochitlan tradition. For this, um, okay, with the anis anis anisotropic friction, the generation we can uh, generate after that the less cut paths uh, between archaeological sites and the analysis of light density. That I think is the most important for this uh, process. This analysis shows the coverage to, of path that shares the same space. In the other way, to show <coughs> the levels on coverage to the lines that represent the less cost path. The analysis consists for exploring all the paths between archaeological site creators in the IDRIC program and then apply to line density tools. This provides a map of different coverage levels which represent different shapes in relation on the degree of the interaction. This analysis allows us to see the most transitive routes of the region under study, which is to permit us to compare the hierarchy of the installation partner to know if there is a link with the movement dynamic. 
conclusion, the objective of applied delay cost path technique was to uh, depress the path that probably to existence in the past. The result obtained have provided us to inform information about the areas where the greatest number of paths coverages, which has permitted us to envisage the areas where the most movement happened in the region. The results the result obtained suggest that the important sites of the Teotihuacan tradition, for example, Huachimontones, the, the most important site, Loma Alta, uh, Arroyo de los Lobos in this area, Las Tanzuela, were the area with the most movement, which explains the density of inhabitants found in the same area. The archaeological data and the analysis for the information gathered have allowed us to summarize that this region was an area in which movement was relatively easy, with uh, like uh, open areas for movement. This is more size uh, of the path and the low energy cost to connect with surrounding areas proved to this was flying interaction between the sites and between sites and natural resource. In conclusion, this initial spatial analysis of church and tradition through GIS has helped us to better understand the spatial configuration of received area. This work has opened up the large, the large array of research opportunity for the future, which will progressively provide large amount of data and help us to learn more about the Dutch tradition.